Black relationships are in shambles. And part of the reason is because you guys are not looking for relationships. You guys are not looking for partners. You're pretty much looking for maids and handymen. To put it more specifically, you're looking for handymen that are also sugar daddies. And you're looking for maids that you can also have sex with. Let's get into it. Modern man standard. Black relationships are in shambles. They're in disarray. And I don't know if they'll ever be uh, improved. Part of the reason is that you, 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 your very idea of what a relationship, right, is so rooted into some nonsense from a long time ago. What that means is this. You guys want people to do things for you. You don't really want a relationship, you know, or should I say your idea of a relationship is let me find somebody who can do some tasks for me. Let me find somebody who could do something for me. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all are not looking for partners. Y'all are not looking for companions. Y'all are looking for caretakers. Okay. Y'all are looking for handymen. All right, this idea that um, I'm gonna talk about the ladies real quick. This idea that a lot of the ladies have that a man is supposed to uh, uh, pay their bills and get their hair and nails done, and then come by and fix a linky sink or put up some drapes or some shit like that. Like like a man is a goddamn handyman slash sugar daddy. Yo, that's whack. The only thing a man is supposed to be doing for you, sweetheart, is loving on your ass and being good company. Fellas, I be hearing so many of these goofy ass niggas talking about they want a woman to cook and clean. And got, yo, motherfuckers, I heard a motherfucker today say he want a woman to wash his clothes. Hold on, bro. You want a woman to cook for you? clean for you, and wash your nasty skid mark draw. Yo, that shit is disgusting. So this nigga wants a maid that he can fuck. Y'all want people to do shit for you. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever happened to people getting along, people being friends, people being companions, Baby, want to go out? Baby, want to go to Bahamas? Baby, want to go off a of Mexican? Want to tie? Want to go to Hawaii? The fuck happened to that? It's, what's for dinner? Oh, did you take out the trash? What's up with them clothes in that hamper? Oh, did you put up the drapes? What the, what, what the fuck is that? We are, we, 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 and I know I was about to say where y'all get it from. Y'all get it from y'all parents and grandparents. But once again, guys, that's long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Your job in a relationship, as far as I'm concerned, is merely one thing, to be good company. To be good company and to love on your partner, period. You're not a fucking maid. You're not a handyman, right? Okay? You can pay somebody to do that shit. You can order out. A person is, or you can cook. And if a person cooks or cleans, right? Or if a person puts up drapes or fix the faucet, that is a gesture of kindness to say, hey, I like you and I am I have the ability to do this, right? So I'm going to do it. And it should not have any gender attached to it. You know, not a gender, but gender, male and female. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not an entitlement. You are not entitled to a woman cooking for you and washing your fucking clothes. You are not entitled to a man paying your lousy ass bills. I don't... Once again, I was about to say, I don't know where you get this from, but I know where you get it from. And they were wrong. Well, I'm not going to say that they were wrong. That's how it worked back then. 
Don't work that way no more. You need companionship. You just need a person that is nice, sweet, kind, not disrespectful, really understanding, pleasant to be around, respectful. You understand what I'm saying? That can love on you and you can love on them back. Not a fucking job. Not cleaning a toilet. Not paying your bills. That shit is whack. This is a new day. All right? You have companions. So I'm going to say this in closing. Relationships, as far as I'm concerned, and maybe that's why a nigga <laughs> is old as fuck and ain't got no kids and ain't married. Maybe this is why. But I see relationships as being joint ventures. A joint venture is when a separate entity, business entity, that's self-contained all by itself and another business entity, self-contained all by itself, they agree to do something together. But they don't have partners. They don't, they don't give up anything over here and they don't give any, anything over here. They come together at this one point to do this one thing, right? That's mutually beneficial for both parties joint venture and that's what i think that relationship should be not this hierarchical shit not this i'm the leader i tell you what to do baby and you go over there and you you pay the bill that's that shit is very old and um i think part of the reason is that people feel used and at the end of the day people don't want to do that so find yourself a companion anyway it's your friendly neighborhood OG. And that's all I got to say. Deuces.